gonna get this pointed down at my surface. I haven't done a live stream in a long time. Well, on my actual phone. <laughs> One second. Why is it so close up? And why is everything so... Oh, zoomed in. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is ridiculous. Anybody here? Five people are here. Sorry. Let's see what we can do. Get some comments over here. That's not a really good shot, is it, guys? Let's see how much it is. actually works. <sighs> kind of a bad view. Let's see. Uh, Mary, hola, hola. Como estas? We're going to turn some boxes into pumpkins today, guys. Let's see. <clears throat> Do my live chat here. I wish I could get this to go further out. Maybe I need to move it up. Sorry, guys. This really... I got this, this mount, but I have it so tightened up that... Uh, is that any better? It's a little better, right? It's a little better. Yeah. We'll see how much of that works. So, I want to make some junk pumpkins. And I want you guys to see them. So, we're going to turn... Well, not really junk. There's, they're basically like trash to treasure. You can say trash to treasure punkies. Trash to treasure punkies. I have so much junk on my actual table avalanche avalanche and my chat is not updating on my tablet really really you choose to fall now we're gonna use this we're gonna use all this stuff here what do we got here it's not updating can you guys hear me how is everyone? Let's do. Let's see. All right. Yeah, that worked. Okay, so it's working on my phone, but not my tablet. So I can see, hi there, from small town Alabama. Hello. And see, my phone is facing down, <laughs> so I can't read my phone. I'm trying to read here on my tablet, but my tablet wants to be rude. Okay, let's see here. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties, but we will be there in full live chat. Click. <clears throat> oh wow that's a long delay there's a big old delay on my tablet then you know watching it anyways so what i'm going to do today which now you have fallen oh man come on now you ever want to do something and then you think you got it right and then eight other things decide to go wrong at the most inopportune moment so it's great so we're going to make Punkies out of boxes. Oh wait, that's better. Maybe because this is too loose. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. So I have all these boxes here, guys. All these boxes. 
a little bit too much of me. All right. And these are just like little boxes that I have saved. Oh, my address on this one. No, I can't take it off. These are boxes basically like, they're just little boxes that come in when you order stuff, you know? Like you order things and you open it and then you go, you know what? That is a cute little box. Or am I the only one that does that? I'm like, this box is so cute. Can I have it? What are you going to do with it? I don't know, but I need to have it. It needs to be part of my home. <laughs> I need to take it home. Now, I guarantee you, these boxes are all from things my husband's ordered. They're all like computer parts or electronics or some sort of like, this is probably, I think this is from a USB, a USB hub that we bought. Um, but yeah, these are all like little extra electronic parts boxes. And when I got them, I had originally, oh yeah, see, this is cooling fans. These are cooling fans for a PC. <laughs> Um, when I got them, I had originally kept them because I wanted to just still wrap them and do some sort of like fake uh, gift type thing, whether it not necessarily for Christmas, but maybe like just like a farmhouse look on uh, just on a mantle or on a shelf. So I think gifts are pretty cute just for having, you know, in your regular decor. I don't think you should really always, you know, say no to anything. So I kept them because I was like, well, maybe I can do something with some scrapbooking paper or something like that. And then I thought, you know what? These all look like different weird sized pumpkins or weird sized, you know, gourds. They all have their own little unique, unique look to them. You know what I'm saying? So uh, what I was doing was I'm checking. I know this one was empty, so I stuffed it with um, this is just a uh, newspaper that I got from Dollar Tree. I went to Dollar Tree the other day, which is why I was asking you guys if you wanted to see a Dollar Tree haul or if you want me to do some crafts. Because I bought a lot of stuff. I bought like $82 worth of stuff at Dollar Tree, guys. So I have lots of stuff on the floor in my bathroom over here. But um, the paper that and some of the some of the ceramic items I bought, this newspaper. So that's just to fill it up so it's not empty. And then I'm going to put some, um, some packing tape over that in a second. And then this one I'm pretty sure is empty. Yeah, this one's empty. Because also remember, depending on what you put on them, if you want to change them out for the holiday, you can put a cute little gift out, like in a little vignette or a little display for Valentine's Day. And like these little guys would look good in a tiered tray or, you know, anywhere sitting on a table. But we're going to turn them into punkies. Because again, pumpkins are universal in my house. And there's stuff in here. Yeah, that was a USB hub. And there's another box in here. See, I see another I see another pumpkin in our future. There's a pumpkin in that, there's a pumpkin in this. I'm gonna stuff this. There's some extra sacks. Guess where they're from? Shocker, I know, Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna put those in here. I think my phone is falling as I'm working because I'm shaking the table. Can you guys see okay? Because I'm not having any of my comments coming through. What's, what's going on, YouTubes? Hmm? What's going on, YouTubes? So what I want to do first is, uh, I'm only going to do a couple, but I have a couple ideas, especially for these little ones. Uh, maybe I'll do these two. Two of these I'm going to cover in probably brown, uh, brown craft paper. And then this one I've got an idea for, and this one I got an idea for. So we're going to do three fall and probably if we have time, I will do a fourth pumpkin one. Let's see. Hi Whitney, glad I caught you live. Well, hi Renee. I wonder why I can't see the chat on my tablet where I could before. This is a little annoying. I need the tablet because I have to like dip down and look up and under. Like I gotta be like to read the comments. I'm like, hi guys. I see what you're writing. <laughs> it's a little ridiculous. Alright, come on, crafty thoughts. My channel. There's my live stream. Well, guys, it, for some reason, it's just not working on my tablet. It's giving me this ad. I get to look at this ad. That's wonderful. Anyways, so sorry, guys. It's going to be a little annoying because I can't really see too well. Uh, 
Glad I caught you, Renee, LOL. Paula, uh, for some reason it says Paula's message is re retracted. You putting out some confidential government information or something? YouTube says no. All right, so if we have time, I'll do a Halloween one, but I definitely want to do something with this one and then these two guys here. So my idea for these is just regular craft paper. You guys have seen this. You can get this roll at the Dollar Tree. And of course, like any good craft hoarder, I have an extra one. So that's what the label looks like at Dollar Tree. Craft paper roll. You can get it anywhere, though. You can get them at the, you know, the shipping stores or uh, moving places, although it's probably a little bit more expensive. But in any event, get you some, some craft paper. The rubber band on mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap them real quick. I'm usually pretty good at wrapping presents. So we'll see how quickly I can get this done. So I just kind of measure around one side how I'm going to wrap it. And then I cut the whole roll off. Also, um, this is the paper you guys normally see me use in my videos when I am um, covering the back of things. And then that's usually a much nicer cut, so please ignore how hideous that was. I'm so excited to see these. Love making crafts with repurposed recycled items. Yes. Yes. Boxes. And I'm telling you, they're like little cute boxes. You guys ever... Am I, am I like weird? I don't think I'm... I mean, I know I'm weird, but I think y'all are the same kind of weird. <laughs> if you see a box, I'm like, I love that box. Why? It's cute. It's a cute little box. What are you going to do with it? No clue. No purpose. I'm going to take it home and name it George and keep it. That's what I'm going to do. Until I find a purpose. And literally this whole pumpkin thing. It just came to me one night. Not really. I mean I'm always kind of always about pumpkin somewhere. Somehow. And of course you guys can't even see what I'm doing over here. So. What I'm going to do is. Sit here. <clears throat> and hope that I don't miss too much. It should be a little bit better. Yeah, that's better, right? There we go. So maybe I'll, I'll be able to read them, the comments. I save jars. Okay, cool. Yeah, I save jars. Um, if they're really cute or they don't have a lid on them. I have a jar from, I think it's sesame oil. A sesame oil glass in the kitchen. I am guilty of saving those. I have, actually, you know what? Here you go. I'll show you real quick. Here's one of them. <laughs> See? I show you proof. I save jars too. <laughs> oh, and then this one here. Check this out, guys. Look. I couldn't say no. It's because it's, you know, marmalade jelly. It's got a cute lid on it, even though it's got the label. I, what can I do with it? But I kept it. So you guys will probably see that stuff coming up soon. So I'm telling you, I'm nothing if not a creature of habit. So when I wrap them real quick, this is how I do. I usually push it halfway down. I want this to go halfway through. Didn't know this was going to turn into a, you know, somewhat of a, um, wrapping paper tutorial. It's not, I promise. I might only do the one because this is kind of loud and annoying. Unless you guys don't mind. But one of these is going to be so easy. And it's because it's such a tiny box, you have so many options. No, that's not going to work. You have a lot of options. All right, so that's how we do that. Now... Oh, I need paper, um, my tape, one second. Let me get my tape out of my closet. Also, my contact lenses are bothering me today, and I don't know why. Like, they were fine a second ago, and then they just decided to be rude. Yeah, no, it just it doesn't want to work. It's so frustrating. Sorry, guys. I mean, I did those other two live streams with the hauls, the um, the two shopping hauls. It'd be so much easier if I could read these. Oh, 
there it is. Okay, not touching it. Not touching it, not asking questions. Not gonna question it. I'm gonna put her right here. And I'm gonna walk away. Smucker's jars are the best. Did I save those dang amber kombucha bottles? A kombucha. I can't help myself. I'm going to have to look up in what a kombucha bottle is because I might be missing out on something. We shall see. So remember, I put some, some bags in here. It only added a little bit of weight to it, not a lot. So let me just get this guy wrapped real quick. I usually bring this edge, this, this piece to the edge. I'm a little even on both sides. And again, this isn't permanent either. So just think like you could use jewelry boxes or some other type of like, you could use decorative paper boxes too. You know, something that you didn't plan on necessarily using. Now, normally guys, I would hide my tape, but for the interest of, you know, S and giggles. I'm just going to tape it pretty much as quickly as possible. Also, on the ends, we're going to use one end, obviously, to put our stems and stuff on, but the other end, we want to um, have it somewhat flat enough so that we can... Um, So it'll sit flat so it sits straight up see we want it to sit like that i want this one to be a tall pumpkin you could make it a fat wide pumpkin but i want this one to be a tall pumpkin how's everybody doing this tuesday i just uh, looked at the weather i took my dogs out before i got online here and um it's gonna rain again and i'm like why why couldn't we have that back in april the desert is, is mean. It's too hot right now for it to rain. Then it's going to be like, you know, how am I supposed to complain to all my friends who actually come from places where it's humid? Now I, now I can't complain, you know what I'm saying? Look how cute it is. It's a cute little box. Oops, sorry, I got a phone call. So, just a cute little box. That's what we're doing with it. Now this guy here, my idea was... Alright, let me wrap it real quick. So... Sorry guys, this might be a little boring. I would normally use packing tape on this and I forgot to text my husband and tell him I was doing a live stream and he's calling me, so. Normally I'd use packing tape on that, but again. I don't know, is this long enough? No, it's not, so we're gonna need to wrap it this way. Yep, yeah we are, okay. Um, Normally I text him and let him know if he's not home that, hey, I'm doing a live stream, but I forgot to tell him that, so. Oh. I've been banned. Also, I know a lot of people use like a separate phone to do this stuff, and I don't. I don't have a separate phone for all this good stuff. I just use the same one for everything. So, let me get this one done real quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a stamp on this because this is just regular brown craft paper. So, I'm going to get that ready to where I want and then I'm going to start with a little bit of customization. Now this is just gonna be kind of like a, a fall type thing, a little fall theme thing we got going on. And so I'm gonna hold that down here, hold that down here. And what I'm gonna do is, I got a bucket, I got a stamp, and I got some ink. I guys, I went to go look into my ink and all my ink was ancient and dehydrated and dead. So this is just like a little clear glass thing. And I got this at Michael's so many years ago on clearance that it doesn't even matter. But um, it's just a cute little polka dot pattern stamp. And so you pull it off the back here. It's an off-brand one, and then you stick it to your plexiglass. And now you got this cute little stamp. So hopefully, 
I have enough ink in this. I haven't touched ink or my stamp pads in years. Oh yeah, it is. It's still good, hopefully. So let's see. So we know that we want to put this whole thing. You can also get bigger stamps. I mean, this isn't just like, you know, you're not forced into it using a specific one, but um, I'm just going to stamp our paper. Also didn't realize this was going to be so... I thought I picked a small box, but I sure didn't. <laughs> So again, if you got time, nothing actually is ever really gonna line up 100%, but it gets the idea, you get you get the idea. Might be a little bit easier also, and I might end up doing that on purpose because I've already kind of got my, my circles off. So I'm just gonna stamp it a little bit here, a little bit there, and then re-ink it. Put on your ad blocker. No, don't do that because you put on ad blockers. It means I don't make any money. <laughs> Ugh. Ad blockers are YouTube people's worst friend. We don't like to hear ad blockers. Usually all my ads are skippable ads. So I went a couple different directions, but this is going to be kind of a little, I'm also getting ink on everything. So let me go this direction now here. And this is just a little eclectic looking guy. He's not exactly 100% perfect in any way, but. Also, I feel like when I craft during a live stream, you guys, I feel like I'm like I need to hurry and do certain things. Like if I was just recording, first off, this is bothering me. Like, look how dirty my hands are. <laughs> I feel like I'm like all messy. I'm not usually this messy when I'm, you know, on the regular. I don't usually craft this messily, <clears throat> which I do have a lot of. Um, I got a decent amount of. Of baby wipes over there but also I hope this stuff comes off my fingernails so, avalanche happening again just checking to see if there's any comments coming through that I'm not actually seeing because something's something's up with YouTube today all my comments came through perfectly fine before on the other one but unless you guys are just are you guys quiet because I'm not I'm not used to the quietness All right, so now I'm going to try to cover up my oopsies because I have a lot of like different seams and different directions and stuff. I'm going to kind of just go at it a little bit crazily. A little diagonal here and there. And again, this is all skippable. Y'all don't have to do this. You can actually use, you know, real wrapping paper with a design on it. I only have a Christmas wrapping paper, so might have looked a little bit weird, but not 100%. Which I did decide the other day that I probably was going to commit and make myself a Christmas pumpkin. Because I'm just crazy enough to do that. And in my house, it would make sense to me, so I'm good with it. Oh, look at that. That came off real easy. All right. Okay. So, flip that back over. Bring the sides. Wrap her up real quick. Okay. 
Yeah, everything's gonna have a front and a back. Remember, hide your tape if it if it's you know your thing. If, it, if it's bothersome, hide your tape. I normally hide my tape. But I want to try to get all this done. And I still want to do that Halloween pumpkin because the Halloween pumpkin is gonna be super cute. Oh, that one, that one turned out good. Look at that, I measured that right. With all professional measuring. Yeah, that's not true. Okay. Here's my water app. You guys are used to it. It seems like I live stream same times almost all the time. So here's that little guy. It's just uh, added our own little circles and stuff all over it. Now, it would be cute if you could do it with like orange paper or with black for Halloween or more like um, uh, orange ink maybe for for fall or thanksgiving -y. make it really cute and pretty but um that's these two guys now we're going to decorate these with all kinds of stuff so what i want to do is should we do one at a time or you guys want to just do that at first oh my god okay i'm not getting any any comments you guys chat something so i can see that we're all still working because this isn't working for me i don't think Yeah, it's not working on my tablet again. This is so frustrating. I don't have an ad blocker, if that's what you were meaning. I don't got an ad blocker. Normally, I would do my, my other account. Let me go to my personal account. There we go. Glad I caught you live. Okay, yeah, look at all that stuff I missed. Oh, my sister's here. Hi, Stace. Now we'll fight over boxes after gift giving. Sure, we already do anyways. <laughs> Love the save jars too. Husband's here. He says hi. Okay, cool. Okay, hello Whitney, I'm from northern South Dakota, 90 miles of Sioux Falls. Love your DIYs. Well, thank you, Deb. I'm glad you're here. Happy to have you. So maybe now this will work. Drink your water. Exactly. Y'all know my water app. My sister is the one. You guys can blame my sister for that because she's the one that showed me that app. And now, I mean, I'm glad it tells you, you, you will drink your water and you have no choice in the matter. And if you don't drink your water, I will continue to remind you until you get so angry that you don't care about drinking the water. But you have to drink the water because if you don't, I'll keep yelling at you to drink the water. Good time. Good time. So you guys already know from my other video, I got all kinds of stuff I use as stems, right? So this was my bag from Amazon. So this is all Amazon stems because my hobby, not my hobby lobbies, my Dollar Tree's never got the stems out, which I would have loved to have had. And then these are the ones I have saved off of all the old pumpkins that I bought. And they finally rotted out. It took months. I mean, I've had them usually up until sometimes February or March. So there's always these options. And then this is stick from a bush in my backyard or my front yard. So you have lots of options. And then also any of the candle cups or these little finial caps. These look great as pumpkin stems. Um, those you can get at Walmart or Amazon. And then also I saw these. I have these in here that I never even really used yet because I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but these wooden spools. These would be great as a pumpkin stem, but probably on like a bigger item, maybe like a bigger crate. They're a little bit too big for what we're doing today, but they're super cute. It's a good idea to use those too. <sighs> or even some beads. You could always stack some beads up top and then, you know, call it a day. So what I'm going to do for this first one here is... I'm just going to take a couple of these guys here. I'm not going to use any of these special girls today, nothing like that. And we're going to glue them, glue stems like right on top of these. But then we're going to also add a whole bunch of goodies. 
just a whole bunch of junk. I was picking sticks in the yard to use as stems for my pumpkin projects this morning. Well, perfect timing, Donna. I'm telling you, they're perfect. Now, these ones that you buy, you know, so you get a really good, nice flat cut on them. But, you know, if we're putting them in the crochet pumpkins or the fabric pumpkins, you know, no harm, no foul. That's not going to really cause any, you know, major... It's not going to be a hiccup in anything. Like, these ones, it might be a little bit harder... Because we want them, ow, 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 ow. Everything's fine. I guess I still have a finger I have feeling in. I thought that that was gone, but it's not. So these are almost there. Look how old they are. Actually, I wanted to put ribbon on this one. I think I'm going to wrap this one in. Yes, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Excuse me while I get a very tiny, tiny roll of ribbon. It's very small, and I'm almost done using the whole spool. Okay. So just about five seconds, and this isn't cumbersome or, you know, problematic at all. But I got this uh, webbing stuff from car burlapfabric.com a couple years ago, and it sure does make me happy. So I love it, and any chance I have that I can remember I have it to use it, I will. So that's just my tiny, <laughs> that's just my tiny spool. It's so itty-bitty. Yeah. Doesn't take up room, never complains. It's beautiful, it's great, yeah. Fat lie. Anyways, <laughs> I'm just gonna wrap this here right around the middle because this too also makes me happy. Now remember, I don't plan on taking these apart. There's gonna go in my regular stash on a regular, normal, you know, holiday. These will look good on that little show. Oh, you guys don't know. The video coming out on Friday, I am so excited. Oh my God, yes. Are you impressed by my small spool of ribbon, Paula? <laughs> I mean, I, was, I wasn't I was fibbing, it is, it's very tiny. It's also Antonym Tuesday, apparently, in the uh, Crafty Thoughts house. Antonym, Antonym Tuesday, so I'm gonna put a little, I'll put a little hem on this side just to make it seem like I'm making something look proper. But I love this webbing stuff. Um, I, I think maybe it's the the ticking pattern or the you know the the, the, the this the this part, you know, whatever this whatever this part is. That's my favorite part about it. Also, it's very farmhouse. It's so farmhouse. So even though this is the back, I'm still going to try my best to make it look as decent as possible. So I'm going to try to pull it really super tight. I've been saving the stems off of the real pumpkins for years. I love how they make DIY pumpkins look super cute. Okay, Renee, I only did it last year because I don't know why I never thought of it. So if you've been doing that, then you must have some super cute pumpkins because I haven't used them yet. Like, look at this one. When I found this one in the store, I was so proud of this. I walked around the grocery store like, look what I did. Look what I found. I dug it out of all that big old box. I'm dirty. I don't care. I, I, I tore my clothes. But look how cute this pumpkin is. And then when I got to the register, that guy tried to put it in a bag. I'm like, excuse me. Uh, she stays up here with me in my purse. I will carry her and she will drive home in my lap. And of course, you know, because I'm talking about the pumpkin like it's a person, you know, they don't understand me like you guys do. So it kind of blends in a little bit here, you know, because of the brown paper with the brown ribbon. But I think if we had different color or some more, you know, some more pattern or something on here, it wouldn't blend so well. But I still think for what I'm going for, pretty simple, pretty cute. So you guys can imagine, we are just going to put all kinds of gobbledygook on the top of these and make them super cute. So now... This one here is going to be a little special. I'm going to do ropes with all this one, but what do you guys want to do? You want me to start this one, or do you want to decorate these first? Just caught this. I'll have to watch the replay. No problem, Barbara. I'm glad you're here. Catch the replay and watch it many times. Just put it on to listen to me jibber-jabber while you're trying to, you know, live a normal life. Decorate first. All right, cool. We'll do, Paula. All right, so let's take these two girls here, and what I'm going to do is first... Like normal, I'm going to take my very small value size bag. Uh, now again, this is from Hobby Lobby. I've mentioned it a couple videos if you haven't caught it. The Dollar Tree ones 
for some reason, I call it Dollar Tree uh, bag of sticks, not floral moss because or Spanish moss because I'll say it's a bag of Spanish sticks. If you all watch some of my uh, last videos going back, every time I pulled one out, I got like seven or eight sticks out of all of it. It's a little ridiculous. It's a little ridiculous. Um, but also, this was only $5.99, and when I bought it, it was 50% off. So, or sorry, it was 40% off. So I got it for less than $4, and I'm getting a lot more. And in one of my videos, I was telling you, that, like, this says it's uh, 350 cubic feet. Cubic inches, not cubic feet. <laughs> cubic inches. And I think the one from Dollar Tree, obviously, is much, much smaller. So if you're able to... Sorry if that's loud. Doesn't even really have to be a Hobby Lobby you could go to per se, but if you're able to get to a store that sells these types of supplies, it majority of the time might be a better deal. And also the quality is much nicer. Look how fuzzy. I don't know if that's going to pick it up. This stuff is like, it almost looks like it's velvet, velvety. I love it. But anyways, this is the brown dried, you know, we'll call it dead color. This is the dead color moss. Makes me happy. So I'm going to put this around out here. Hold on. I have a wiener dog down here that might be trying to snack on the Spanish moss, which is not allowed, Tootsie. <gasps> Just not for puppies. She's like, good, I'm not a puppy. So just wrap that around the top. You know, don't burn your fingers, but I mean, you could stop already. Look how cute. Let's stop. No, I'm kidding. I don't, I'm not going to stop, but I'm just saying, look how stinking cute this is. Oh, that makes me so happy. Hold on. Tootsie, come here. Hey, leave your dog. No, no, no. Okay. Okay, everybody say hi. Hi, I'm going to eat everything off the table. <laughs> Tootsie, you can't go. This is what happens when I do a live stream when Daddy's at home. You stay out here, okay? Go lay down. All right. Sorry, guys. Kids. Kids are wonderful. Kids are great. Did I miss anything? Uh, Bobby Wang. Hey, Whitney. Sorry, I'm late for the show. I'm definitely going to have to watch the replay. Not a problem. Decorate for... Uh, not to toot my own horn, but I think they're cute. Oh, of course. Of course. To girl, toot away. Toot away. Is that the first time? I think that's the first time I've ever told her. <laughs> toot away. <laughs> Tell me, well, my dog's name is Tootsie, so I call her the toot. So... On both of these, we are just going to wrap our tops and just kind of accentuate without burning too much of our fingers. Hopefully, I like to keep the flesh on my hands. Um, as much as possible. All right, now for this little one, my idea is, you guys tell me what you think. But this is what I came up with. I put together this little trash bucket of ideas. So I got this and this. These are from Michaels from many, 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 many years ago. I got some junk ribbon. Now these ribbons have been in my junk pile. I got them off of like lotion back boxes. This was a oops accident a bow that didn't turn out. I got a felt sunflower I can stick on one. And then my other idea is... Right, wrong. All right, I have these rub on transfers from Dollar Tree because they make me happy. And for this one, I'm gonna put, I, now I love this one. I love this one and they have them. I bought these uh, not last, well, maybe last year. I'm not sure. Um, oh, love, yeah, Stacy Tootsie loves her too. I laugh every time you pull out a stick. That's good, thanks Renee. Thanks for watching and, and Retaining all that. Every time I got a stick out, my eye would twitch. I'm telling you. <laughs> Y'all hit the like button and share. Thank you, Paula. I appreciate it. I always forget to say that stuff. I just feel like I need to just, I'm just, I'm in the, I'm in the craft zone. But these ones here, I am addicted to. I am addicted to this one. I think, I don't know, it's, it's like the veins in this and like the little round punkies. And then this white one down here makes me happy. But I'm going to use this one today. And I bought these last year, but they did bring them all back. They brought them all back because I was at Hobby Lobby. I spent way too much time and way too much money there the other day. And they have them all black. They have them all back this year. So you can go and grab them. But what I'm going to do first is um, everything's brown. Why did I grab brown? 
I grabbed brown, brown, brown. Okay, anyways, I'll use this for sure. I'm gonna go get some different ribbon. I have a big old junk bucket of ribbon too. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna use one of these tags. I got these tags at Dollar Tree. You get chalkboard tags, there's six of them, six of them in the bag. I, I like them and I was, my idea hopefully, which will pan out, Just this little short guy here because I have the black pattern going on in our uh, our paper here. I'm gonna use the black the black tag. And what I'm gonna do is, all right. Now don't don't freak out. All right, don't freak out. I'm gonna ball it all up. <laughs> Didn't get a notice. Just hopped on. You know. I don't, sorry, Patricia, that's annoying. And you know, that happens to me too. Like YouTube's just, you know, also guys, my channel isn't really, I'm just still starting back out. Now I've been trying to do regular stuff since March, been making a commitment and making promises to myself. And I've been keeping, keeping up with them. And you know, the algorithm or that I, you know, I, I really hate that word. So here I balled it all up, by the way, as we'll keep talking, ball it all up. And we're going to open it up because I want it to look like it's had some a hard life you know like I relate to this tag how many of you can relate to this poor tag <laughs> anyways I want it to look like it's been through some mess you know what I'm saying so with that aside now I'm going to take this rub on transfer and I'm going to use this pretty one right here that says fall but I'm thinking a lot of times my videos are uploaded and pretty much because obviously I follow my own uh, crafty thoughts page on my own personal YouTube. So I get those notifications, but I think it does have a lot to do with, um, interaction and my channel, you guys, my tried and trues, you guys are always here for me are always there, but I have more subscribers than I get views and comments. That's why I've been asking, uh, just to, I'm trying to fill out to see exactly what they want from me, you know, other than my arm and leg, cause I need those, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know exactly what they actually really want from anybody. All right, so I'm cutting that little leaf off. We might put that on there anyways. But these this these rub on transfers from Dollar Tree are super cute. And I'm a little worried this might not show up on the black tag. I, I hope it does. Because you know, right now it's on a white background, so it might be a little bit might be a little bit of me being a little bit not planning ahead, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, no, it doesn't. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to paint it. Uh, <clears throat> first off, don't do what I did with my rub on transfer. Put it back on its paper here. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my little handy dandy extra little bit of white chalk paint. And I'm just going to put a messy coat right there in the middle. And then I'm going to let it dry a little bit. I might turn my little travel blow dryer on it under the table. I'm going to put another coat on it. I wanted to use that black tag and I'm not going to let it just, I'm just, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep at it and we're going to see how this works. So I got my messy little white uh, paint on there. dry yet nope that is not dry yet so I'm gonna set that to the side while it dries a little bit more and what I'm gonna do is grab the piece that I want to add this to it's over here in my bag one second guys all right I can't believe I found it the first try so check that out I'm going to use one of these little wood clothespins. Now, I got these at Dollar Tree, but I've had multiple ones in my stash. These are a good size. Usually, I see them a lot smaller than this, but this is a good little size. So, I'm going to grab one of these out of here. Of course, I grabbed the one that's all 
crust. Get that to dry. How are we doing up here? All right, just topped on. Okay. I need this to be dry only because, like 100% dry, because I'm going to rub on it pretty hard with a, a transfer. Cooked enough? Cooked enough, maybe? Yeah, a little bit still coming off. Well, I got that, I got that, I got this. Let's pick out some ribbon. This might be a little bit. No, I don't want that on that one. I'll put that one on that one. So for this one, if you guys want to see right up here, in this bookcase, this is all fall and Halloween right in here on this, this whole aisle. And then up here in this aisle, that's like Christmas and then... 4th of July and Valentine's Day. And then this bookcase is pretty much everything else. And there's another bookcase right behind you that has even more garbage. Well, you know, beautiful garbage. Beautiful, beautiful garbage. We'll call it beautiful garbage. So let's try this now. Yes, very happy it looks. You can see it now because it has our background on it. So fingers crossed. I mean, I put these these transfers on chalk tape all or chalk tape chalk paint all the time, so it should be fine. I've just never had to press on it this hard after waiting for paint to dry. So we'll see if the live stream has caused us any any heartache. But so far, it's separating pretty good. Pretty much separates itself while you're while you're putting it on. Mm. Yeah, some of the fall didn't come off. Okay. Uh, it did, but it's not sticking the way we want it to. Mm. Okay, so I had just a few little bad... Just a few little things. Yeah, see, that one came off a little bit, but... You guys get the idea. It's not too bad, but, you know, there's a piece there I'm not too happy with. Let me see if I can maybe... Right, I think I aged it out pretty good. Now you don't notice it. Yeah. Check that out. I'm happy with that now. Aged it out to a point where you can't tell that, you know, all the stuff that happened to it was what it was meant to happen. So we get our little gnarly little thing here. So what I want to do is... I want to add this to this guy here, just like this somehow. Yeah. And I want, I definitely want the... Um, I'm going to leave the string on it, and I'm going to leave the clothespin the color that it, it is. And I'm just going to set that right there on top. Whitney's Ribbon Warehouse. Yep, that's uh, my new business, except for nothing is for sale. We'll call it, uh, how about we call it a museum? Then I can open it to the public, sort of, like only to specific people. There, here's my idea. Now I'm going to glue it in here. You guys don't have to, but I'm going to glue the tag in here. That way it can't be pulled out. So I'm going to leave the little cord on it like that. And then that was my idea for this one. I think I can still add more. I think ribbon would be great on here. Uh, what else? Do, do I have anything in here? Maybe some green. Should I put some green on it, you guys? Get my junk bucket out. 
Oh, I got these little pine cones. I could put a little pine cone up there. Some Christmas berries. Here's this jute bow that I made that I never used. I could put that on there. It kind of blends in. Like I'm doing every. It's kind of like no. There's like no color in this. Thank you, Donna. Oh, also, I just noticed this down here. These are off of the handles. Um, you can use these as stems and like stain them with your gel stain. These are um, these are off of the handles of the sponges. The sponge. Oh wait, hold on. I forgot. This is off of the. Actually, you guys are going to see that in my next video. I haven't re released it yet. Let me show you real quick. I used uh, this off of a, a Hobby Lobby pick. It's just the berries that popped off of it. So that made me happy. Let me put this off to the side. Make some more room. But um, I'm going to grab it real quick. I didn't grab my little, my extras and stuff. I feel bad, guys. Sorry to keep getting up. Run around. I also have some pit berries. I got all kinds of stuff. So like this was the one I took it off of. This is a, actually this isn't the one. Because I have one that's just this stuff. This was what was from Hobby Lobby. This pick I used. That's where I got this little guy from here. So we'll use him. And then I got some eucalyptus from Dollar Tree that I could kind of rip apart. Does that one look good? Or maybe this, this one. Or there's this guy from Herbie Lurby. I don't really, I mean, uh, Dollar Tree. I'm not really wild about that one. But I got some oranges and stuff in there. Orange pit, pit berries and raffia would be my pick. Yes, that would be cute. Actually, I had some raffia in here. Voila. I knew I had it somewhere. See, I got some junk. See, you know what? I took that off of the top of something. So I have some raffia here. It never fails. I have it somewhere in my junk pile. I will find it. And of course I got this stuck on this thing. So I got some I got some raffia here. I'll put some of these cream berries on there. And I'm definitely gonna put that guy on there. I found the part I amputated it from. I took it off the top of this. <laughs> so I could probably use more raffia than this. This is, again, I took this off of a, probably a package or a bottle of something. Sandra, absolutely love this, just like the good old days. Yeah, my uh, chaotic uh, <laughs> getting up constantly, not making no sense. Let's see. I'm wondering if I should tie it on. kind of yellowy but like the raffia I just used in my last video is not this yellow I mean it's not bad it's not horrible I don't I don't like it <laughs> it's probably because this raffia is like Oh, I agree, Sandra. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Sandra. You guys are great. You guys are great. If I touch my ribbons, they will literally avalanche on me. So I should bring some little tiny ribbon for this, I think. I've missed your lies. Thank you, Brenda. <laughs> I 
How about buffalo check, guys? You think buffalo check's okay? I mean, you can't really go wrong with buffalo check, right? Buffalo check? Buffalo check or the Dollar Tree um, lace ribbon or all of the above with this in it. Let's just do... Let's just tie some knots on the top of it and not actually do real bows. And then I'll stick something in it. See, this is why this, is why this ends up taking longer. I'm like, oh no, I'm just gonna do a really fast live stream. It's just gonna be really short, don't worry. Two hours later. All right, so I'm just gonna cut some more pieces, you could say, just pieces. I've been kind of embracing this more as far as like not everything has to have a bow on it. You know what I mean? And I've been liking it. It's been making me happy. So I'm just going to tie knots on here and let the ribbon fall where it does. You know? Put them in different directions. Let them lie as they will. And then from here, this is a little pick that I got at Hobby Lobby many years ago. This one says fall. Does it actually tell me what year I bought it so I can be embarrassed? No, it doesn't. But they have them every year. I've seen them every year, which is why I'm not too terribly embarrassed about it. Buffalo check, yes. Okay, gotcha, Brenda. I will be adding that no matter what. So all I like to do is literally just cut these little things off, put them in the end of my glue gun, and then because we got a lot of stuff going on here, you can nestle these inside of all kinds of stuff in here and they will stick. So if you buy more than one, like buy one with the fact of knowing that you're going to Frankenstein it, <laughs> you're gonna rip it apart. You're gonna basically make sure it doesn't know what it was like to be whole as it once was. And I love placing these things all over left right use enough glue you know but again this is something that shouldn't have a lot of traffic and then there's the piece i was originally going to add i'm going to put that right down here right thus and i think i'm good we could cut these ribbons a little bit shorter maybe trim up the raffia a little bit Hello, husband's home. Water, thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. It's also pink, yes. Is it the dog pink? Mm-hmm. Okay. You got that? Yeah, Zoe's in the doggy bed over here. Okay, so. I want to say I'm done. What do you guys think? One down? I feel like there needs to be greenery in it, but I need to, like, kind of not do that every time. You guys are going to end up getting bored if I keep doing the same stuff over and over and over again, you know what I mean? I feel like I need to put greenery in it. What about, what about a piece of set? Well, never. Okay, I'm putting greenery in it. <laughs> Needs a little color. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, see, it's like this is a sage. Like, I guess it's supposed to be sage. It's from Hobby Lobby. I've had a couple of these in my stash for a while now. And I piece them apart. I've never actually used them, you know, 100% as they have been intended to. So same thing. Cut a couple leaves off and just add some glue to it and nestle it down in all of the beautiful chaos. Look at that. Look at that little green leaf. It's like it was meant to be there. Makes me happy. Making me happy. I'm gonna put this one underneath this one over here. And then I'm gonna use this little, this little cute bundle of three. Super cute. And I'm gonna push this one probably back here somewhere. Just like that, yep, yep. And there's that one. So again, we turned a little paper box into, I mean, you, you can't tell me it doesn't look like a pumpkin now, right? I mean, this looks kind of little. This looks like, you know, like when you go grocery shopping and the produce is just like, it's sad. You know, it doesn't look good. It looks sad. Like it probably shouldn't be out to sell. Doesn't that look like it needs some, some help? I don't know. You know what I'm end up doing? I cut stuff too long and then I and then I have these guilt issues like I'm wasting ribbon. <laughs> I'm wasting ribbon. I love it more now. Yeah. 
Anything can be improved on, right guys? Anything. We can always add a little bit more here and there. Okay, yeah, I'm happier with them a little bit shorter. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this one, this one. This one makes me happy right here. So that one is not how I imagined it, but I'm super happy with what we came up with. And of course, none of those pieces are going in the trash, guys. They're all staying here with us. So there's our first little punky. Isn't it cute? Again, the tag wasn't going to work out, but it 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 kind of works out. Also, um, Dollar Tree has some metal tags, and you could easily pop one on the side and maybe bend it a little bit, but don't put anything on it. Just put a little tag on it, or if you use the Cricut stuff. I love that one. She's super cute. So now, let's do this girl real fast. Now, now this one, I am definitely going to take some a leaf or two from here, and I will be using this ribbon here for sure. You see this I glued together. I can guarantee you I glued that together and that was not that is not what we wanted to do. So this one too because of the size here and for time I am not going to make it into a bow. I'm going to just take these pieces and dovetail them into a fresh little into a fresh little thing and then we're going to like just pinch it in the middle and then we'll just add it to the top kind of like I don't know if you guys can see. We'll just add it to the eh, eh, to the top of our, our little punky girl right here. We'll do something like that with these two pieces. So I can put the pumpkin ribbon on a pumpkin. That way you don't have to worry about being mistaken. And, oh, look what I did. Okay, how many people do this? Because I can't be alone, guys. I can't be alone on this. <laughs> For real. It's called a reverse dovetail. Do you guys think that's going to take on? Do you think it's going to take? You guys love those reverse dovetails? I love them. And yeah, I'm going to I'm going to tie a piece of this shiny. This is some satiny ribbon I've had forever. <laughs> Sandra me. All right, cool. We are not alone. We all do the same stuff. That is good. Actually, I think I might tie this in a bow around the top. So let me see if I can remember how to just do a normal shoelace. I mean, I, I live in flip-flops and I tie bows, you'd think I would remember. So let me do this. We've got one loop, tie another loop around it. Oh, that is so cute. Okay. That's so cute. Look, it's cute. Okay, I mean, every time I say, oh, yep, I'm done with it, look how cute it is. It gets better. It doesn't it just get better. Look how cute that is. Do you guys see this? It's just a, some moss and a dang satin ribbon on the top, man. <laughs> no, you're not, Winnie. I do the same thing. Reverse dovetail. Yeah, I like that reverse canvas. Uh, it's a reverse. That makes me happy. And for interest of time and not going craft crazy, you could stop here, but I'm not going to. Because... I feel like I need to put a leaf on. I'm going to put one of these bright, screaming, hello. Yeah, actually, and there's a tendril here. I'm going to put, see that? I just cut that off there. Look at that little tendril on there. They're so cute. Just tuck that right in there on the side. I mean, it's plastic, but whatever. It gets the job done, right? It's so cute. And also, I haven't put in the pumpkin ribbon. I just dovetailed in order to do it, but I think I want to leave it alone. What do you guys think? I think I'm gonna leave it alone. It's so cute though. I'm gonna cut this one off right at the edge here so there's nothing there and I'm gonna glue right under this part and just kind of tuck that one under on this side. So remember, we're we're not really, not, not necessarily tucking under, but I am gonna lift up my Spanish moss so that some of this has contact with the paper instead of just gluing it to the Spanish moss. So I'm gonna tuck that in right there and we're gonna use some sort of tool to not burn ourselves, but get it more tucked. Get a little tuck, tuck, tuck. Just tuck it in. And then glue some of it to your own body because that's what we do now. That's my kind of body modification. What do you do? I glue things to my body. I, I hot glue, super glue, gorilla glue, you name it. I, I glue things to myself. And then sometimes it's a guessing game as to how long the glue remains on my skin. How many days will this last?
Okay, now how many of gals going to be digging out itty bitty boxes tomorrow? <laughs> That's right. And every time he's like, I know I have some of that in the garage. We're going to your, going to like, I went into, my husband is a computer nerd. He's not like a carpenter nerd or, a, you know, like that, but he's a computer nerd. So he does a lot of software and all that kinds of stuff. And he always has these little boxes. Like I said, this is for a fan, a cooling fan for my, actually my PC, my video card decided to be rude and it needs, needed to get some more. It got a little bit too hot. It got too hot. I'm actually, you know, I'm not going to put this on here, guys. You know, I, this turned out so good that I'm not going to put that on here. What do you guys think? I should probably leave this off. I like this and I'm not going to put that on there. What you guys think? What you guys think? Those are red berries. I could put a pine cone or two on here. And then I was going to put one of these sunflowers, but yeah, leave off. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I agree with you. I will definitely. I could put one of these sunflowers on. You think the sunflower, do you think it's like too cutesy though? These little felt sunflowers I got at Hobby Lobby many, many, many years ago. Um, but I think it might be too cutesy. We could open it and find out. Let's see. Nothing's permanent. You can always... Re oh, these are like double. These are thick. Oh, I only have how many? I only got four. See, I thought I had more in here. But look, these are pretty... These are pretty thick. Pretty good double duty. Which also means I don't know if it's going to end... I could put it on the front. No. Now it looks like a cam... Why does... It makes it look like a camera. I don't think... I think I'll leave this off too. Yeah, it's too... Flat. All right. It was a good idea. But we're going to leave that off too. Here's, this is from an old Christmas bush. I could stick that in there somehow. That's probably wrong. It's green. It's too green. Too Christmassy. Uh, what do we got here? All right. So... I think I might use this and then a pine cone and call it a day. Yeah, I'm going to cut this guy right here in the middle. See, nothing will ever stay in its original form. Just remember that if you guys ever have questions. Now, see, I cut off the top of this one to do that, but it doesn't look, you know, unnatural. Now, of course, if I'm showing you this one because it comes to a gradual point, but this stuff all is, um, it's all in its own, it all has its own purpose. Now, see, I love that. I, I love that. There's certain things, you guys ever notice, there's certain things that when you add them places, it just feels right. And you get excited. I love this right here. And this was, this is its new home. And I'm going to put a pine cone right there. And then that's it. So you basically have just... You know, a box that you can find anywhere. Now, you also could do this on much bigger scales, too. Wally, you're late to the party. No problem, girl. We still have a whole... We got it. We got another one to go. Don't worry. We're going to do this one with some rope. And I have an idea. I'm just hoping it turns out. If it doesn't, then you guys... You know what? I know you guys will pat me on the shoulder and say, Hey, Whitney, it's okay. We all fail. Because I have an idea for the rope I want to do on that one. So I'm just going to cut this little nub off of the bottom of that there. I don't know. I have my water app that won't leave me alone on my phone. Can you guys, you guys got a good view of this? Look how cute. Look how cute. I'm going to put this right. Just like that. And that floppy ribbon turned out way better than it has. Like I never buy unwired ribbon. I never do. And if I have it, it's because it was a mistake. <laughs> Teeny tiny pine cones. Yes. Yes. Stacey. You, know, you can get these, um, at, Hobby Lobby, but I got a bag at Dollar Tree a couple years ago, or actually last year, year before, and they last for everything, little tiny, and I'm pretty sure these are real, yeah, these are real pine cones, super cute, super cute, I'm gonna put another one back here just for, you know, because I can, so hopefully I didn't gobbly this whole thing up too much, you can still tell, does it look like a pumpkin, does it resemble a pumpkin, or did I put too much in it? Because there's a lot of times, like, I did some tin can pumpkins the year before last, and someone commented, they're like, I can't help it. All I see is a, is a tin can. I'm like, yeah, I agree. But I made those stems out of burlap and some 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 fabric, so. Yes, she looked like a pumpkin. Okay, and Wally, for Wally, she came a little late. This is the first one that we did. So I stamped the paper, and then you can always watch the replay on that. And this one was a little bit, like, 
unplanned. The whole top of this was unplanned and it just kind of turned out that way. And then I put a little tag on it. So that's our first punky and our second punky. Doo -doo. Aren't they cute? Oh, cute. Oh, cute. Okay. So let me put my garbage off to the side. Okay. Having it this messy is really bugging me, but it's okay. So if we have time, I'm going to do a Halloween one on this guy. But for this one here, my idea is you guys have seen everybody wraps things with, um, all this rope, I have so, oh, this is taped together. Did I get something somebody returned? Actually, no, Dollar Tree, my Dollar Trees don't do returns. Do you guys have that? Simple and cute and love it. Thank you, Patricia. Yeah, I love it too. My dollar, I look at the receipt, like I don't remember why I just learned that, like they don't take returns. They'll do exchanges, but my, my receipt says, nope, you bought it. You bought it. All right, so I think I'm gonna do this as my top. So I'll have this as the back. Let me make sure there's nothing in here. I want some, some bubble wrap. I'm going to save that. I know this is a judgment-free zone, but yeah, I'm saving that bubble wrap. So again, this was a little box that we got some fans for the PC. And, little, and it's a good thickness, too. Some of those electronic boxes and stuff, they're pretty good, um, you know, heavy-duty thickness. So I'm going to wrap this thing, you guys. You know, I know you guys have seen it many, many, many times. This is not anything brand new, but let me see how quickly I can get this done. And I'm pretty sure that one of these should be more than enough to cover my whole box. But we're going to wrap it like I've done with those pumpkins, those um, Dollar Tree foam pumpkins or any other kind of pumpkin DIY. And with this nautical rope, I'm not unraveling it. Oh my gosh, I unraveled it once before when I did a, um, when I did this one. If you guys watched my B video, this is the unraveled nautical rope, and I swear my eyes were twitching, and yeah, yeah, no, no, not unraveling it. If I can keep from doing that, I won't be unraveling this rope anymore. It is not fun, but I do stretch it because you can pull this stuff. I love it. It looks like a pumpkin. Thank you. Thank you. Very cute, Whitney. Love the pumpkins. Perfect. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Renee. That's awesome. So this stuff, you can actually stretch it pretty good but also be careful not to burn your pinglers no injuring your paws so we'll see how quickly i get this done this is where if i was recording this you guys would you know not have to painfully sit through all of this so how's your day you guys got any good sales lately How's the price of cucumbers or how's the price of pumpkins by you? I haven't seen pumpkins yet, which is, well, it's August. What? What's today? It's the beginning of August. You will probably hear it in whatever state you live in. You will know. Yeah, yeah Whitney found a pumpkin. It will be the squeal, her, the squeal heard around the world. Maybe this also wasn't a good idea. I don't know. You guys think this probably wasn't a good idea for a live stream. But I'm nothing if not predictable. I'm also not gluing every single square inch of it. You get enough of it in there, you'll be fine. It also, it, you know, it's going to weigh it down a little bit, but not the end of the world if and I'm just going up with it once I hit my, my marker in the back. And we can hide that. Again, this is the back of it. We can hide that if we need to, but we'll be okay. I have to run and watch the replay, cute pumpkins. No problem, Barbara. That's okay. Thank you so much for jibber jabbering for a little bit. And anything you do when you come back is more than appreciated. If you guys ever watch a replay, and even though you've already been here, feel free to comment. The comments, I believe, is what's going to help out. YouTube is a fickle little creature. Anything you do is good for life. Well, thank you, Sandra. So how long do you got, Sandra? How long do you want to sit here? Hmm? I mean, there's times I'll just put on a live and go do some dishes, listen to the jibber jabber. I, I got I got a lot. I get, I get where a lot of you guys are coming from. I enjoy the same things. We all have a lot more in common than we actually really think about. That's why I was like, I don't really consider anybody on my YouTube. I don't consider any of you guys strangers. You're all my friends. 
And when I tell you I love you in my videos, I mean that. I really do love you guys. Anybody who shares the same uh, affection as I do for these things, not just pumpkins, obviously, you know, I'm pumpkin crazy, but anybody who likes to do this stuff as much as I do, I am so with you because I'm I'm the same way you guys. I watch other people do lives. I watch crafting videos. Um, somebody had commented the other day on my video that, or they may have sent me a message. I can't remember. Um, you guys, I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm not really remembering stuff correctly. Um, somebody had mentioned that they were going to suggest somebody to me to watch, and then they went through the pages that I follow on my page, and they said they're pretty much almost all the same, except for one person was missing, and they sent it to me. I can't remember who it was. I think it was something Glue, glue Guns and Roses. Yeah, and I, I, I could have swore. I have her on my personal YouTube. I was trying to copy everything here to my Crafty Thoughts YouTube. Because I have my own personal YouTube account that I've had for many, many, many years. Obviously, that's my Google account because I have an Android phone. But um, this uh, Crafty Thoughts account here that you guys watch me on, I have on my phone also. You can sign into multiple accounts on your phone. But um, I'm always on it and I see it. So that's why if you guys ever want to chat or put something through the community tab or you don't have Instagram. Because Instagram is the best way to get a hold of me. So I've been able to, to jibber jabber with a couple of you guys here and there um, on Instagram. And again, if you guys have pictures of stuff you make, feel free to send it to me on Instagram. Instagram will let you send me messages and let you send me pictures. I, I don't have any of that blocked. So you can send me pictures. I've seen some absolute beautiful stuff. Now see, that is hot and I almost stuck my finger in it. Ouch. Because I'm jibber jibber. But anyways, um, I love seeing the stuff you guys make. And it's even more exciting when it's like, I, you know, I watched your video and I made this. Because every single one of you guys makes the most awesome stuff. Everybody has a different, you know, a different outlook on something. Like I might see something and want to place it horizontally. And then you would see something and put it vertically. And I would have never thought of it that way. And it turns out to be absolutely gorgeous in so many ways. I believe I did say earlier that I wasn't going to glue every single portion of this. And I, I've got all night. Perfect. <laughs> Me too, Renee. Great. You guys good. Renee and Brenda. It's my night owls. Good, good, good. I haven't had dinner yet. So, mm, I'm a hungry. I'm a hungry crafter. I mean, I'm kind of usually... I'm, I'm always hungry. It's not like it's nothing new. Trust me. <laughs> but... We're almost there, guys. Now, I'm going to make a stem out of this. Isn't that great? You guys get these glue boogers all the time like I do? Sorry, for lack of a better word, if booger offends you, I'm sorry. But I call them glue boogers. Or I could go with goopies and lumpies. I can go with goopies and lumpies if booger is gross. Sorry, I, I'll stop saying it. Um, the glue strings. I don't, I mean, I don't get that many. I use AdTech glue. I get it in a big old five pound box from Amazon. I think in the course of the last five years, I've only bought two boxes, which you'd think would be more. You guys go through a lot? Are you going to do a fall tree? Now, Paula, I have every intention of that, but that is something that is such a big undertaking. I can, I don't, I don't want to say yes and then disappoint you. So we'll just say if it comes out in time, it'll be a happy surprise. And then I can do some sort of video of me decorating it again, because let me tell you, Things have gotten crazy these last few years. Also, since I had I got I had COVID in January, I don't know if I'm supposed to say that word or if YouTube's going to flag it, but I had the vid in January. And I mean, I'm sure a lot of you have had it too. Pretty much everyone. My husband had it for very briefly. I mean, he had it for like two days. <laughs> no, he had it for ten days. Mine was over a month. It's pretty bad. And I'm still finding out crap. You know, we're in August now, and I, I got over it in February. I got it literally right after New Year's. I just go back and watch your old videos on the tree. So if you don't, I can just watch it again. Yeah, I only have the one. Actually, you know what, Paula? I have those little tiny trees. I forgot I have the... Well, they're not tiny. They're still... They're still six foot. The pencil. The pencil trees. I have those pencil trees. I could do something off the crate yes i'm gonna put a pencil tree in my entryway next to my pumpkin arrangement you guys watch that pumpkin arrangement i just did i can put a pencil tree up and decorate that one super easy super fast i could do a pencil tree is a pencil tree good i got two of them i don't know one of one of them is frosted i don't think a frosted tree would look good with uh harvesty pumpkins well i mean it'll look good no matter what i can make it look good but yeah i got those really thin pencil trees from michael's a few years ago 
And I used to keep, I, um, the reason why is because I kept one in my bedroom. Because when we moved into this house, I could no longer see my Christmas tree from my bedroom. At my old house, I could see my Christmas tree from my, my bedroom opened up and I could see it from my living room. So I could see my tree while I, when, you know, when you go to bed and you're sitting there. Yes, do a pencil tree. All right. Oh, well, so that's my sister. She can volunteer me for anything, I guess. But yeah, the, um, I used to love to turn the tree, you know, the tree lights on and all the other lights off, not just in the living room, but in the bedroom too, where I'm getting ready to go to bed. Even with the TV on, you just have that, that Christmas tree light. It just, it's just makes me happy. So I can't help it. I'm almost done, guys. Almost done here. So I have my idea for this, this rope stem. Um, and look at, I'm not going to run out of rope. This is the perfect amount of rope. One bundle, which was 11 feet. So this, this particular one was 11 feet. I know sometimes they're all different. You get six foot, eight foot, nine foot, 10 foot, 10 foot. They like come and I don't want to get copyrighted. Um, this one's 11 feet and it's enough to cover this very weird box that nobody probably can duplicate. So it doesn't really matter Whitney. Okay. Anyways, moving on. So now I'm at the top. Yes. The pencil tree. Nice Brent. Okay. So I'm at the top. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to try Oh, that's a little off. Okay, so we're going to have a lot of Spanish moss on the top of this one, but that's okay. I'm going to try to cut it at a diagonal. Let me see if I can just add this to this side on top of here. Kind of make it a little, like a little dam. Oh yeah, never mind. It'll it'll work perfect. I don't gotta cut it, and I'm gonna leave that little bit there of glue. I mean, of tape on it because it'll be all right. Cause we're gonna cover it with moss. Oh, geez, so cute. But what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna do the stem before I do the moss. Okay. So again, there are boxes you can find that you could do this with. And now you wouldn't even really know this is a box. You could do this with a piece of wood too. If anybody has scrap wood, you guys have uh, carpenters in the home, or you guys got extra wood. You know, what is this, a two by four or four by two by eight by nine by something? So you got a piece of wood. This thing is pretty solid now with all this rope on it. Again, it would be a little bit heavy, but I mean, this is our bottom. You could put some, like some felt, maybe a piece of felt on here to cover that. I can do that later um, off of the live stream. But what I want to do is, that's unraveled, that's unraveled. This is an extra chunk I have of one of the normal, regular Dollar Tree nautical ropes. So... My idea here is we want it to unravel to a certain point, okay? And so what I'm going to do is cut it a little bit longer. So if I had to measure it, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is almost nine inches, all right? Here's my idea. Brenda, yes, my sister, I've, I've asked her about it. And if Stacy, if you're still watching, do you see they're they're requesting for you to paint me some more stuff because that little cotton ball she sent me, I loved it to death and I still got it behind me. It's actually behind me. You guys would be pretty amazed. I'll show you at the end how much crap is behind me. It's pretty much everything I've done in the last, I don't know, eight videos. So I've got about nine inches of rope here, right? So I'm only going to unravel a little bit of it here, okay? Only to a little point. And I'm going to put some glue down in here. And I'm going to try to pinch it with, I, I have those things for my fingers, but I didn't use it. And I'm just going to use my little silicone thing here to kind of roll it and get that to stick to itself and then pinch it once it's no longer hot. So that is the extent that it will unravel. It won't unravel anymore from here, sort of, kind of, you know what I'm saying? Not, it won't unravel too much, I don't think. And then we're going to do the same thing to this end as well. All right, cool. You guys have it on record. She says, yes, yes, I know, and I will. <laughs> so unravel it just a little bit. Now, this is going to be going on to the base of our little punky here. So this is like our little tendrils growing into it. So I want this to come out a little bit more. And I'm going to put more glue here in this little stem pit. And what I'm going to do is, if you see here, I'm going to leave it open a little bit. And I'm going to just 
blop it down just like that. Oh no, that's a little bit too much. I needed it to, I wanted it to curve more. I'm gonna blop it down here. Hopefully this works because it's during a live stream. Please work, this is a live stream. And I want it to curve like this. So, load it up with glue. Pull this guy out to the side, this guy out to this side. And I'm going to twist it a little bit and just hold it here. Do you guys see what I'm kind of... Okay, yeah, you got a good view, right? You're seeing what I'm doing? You're, you're picking up what I'm putting down? All right. This would also look good on picture frames. I'm This little stem idea here, just with a little piece of rope. You're, you're looking... It's looking good for picture frames. It's looking good for uh, wood, for anything. I just wanted to use something different than, you know, all the same pieces of, of wood that we've already seen many, many times. So it's kind of a little wonky, but I want it to bend. So I think I'm going to try is to heat it up. Keep that bend in it. I stopped because I was starting to smell marshmallows or, you know, like barbecue. <laughs> You guys ever like, like, I need to burn all the little wispies off here, but now it's starting to smell like a forest fire, so I should probably stop. Not really like as I had intended, but we'll see. We'll see how we, I can get this. I'm going to glue this down onto my pumpkin the way I want it to go. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. You've made your point. And glue this one down this way. Tiny piece of wire in the stem. That's true. Yep, I could feed a little piece of wire in there. It still looks like a stem, right, guys? Or what do you think? I want it to bend, but it doesn't necessarily have to. You know, not all pumpkin stems bend, Whitney. But what do you what do you think? You think it looks like a pumpkin stem? <laughs> I don't think it looks like a pumpkin stem. I mean, I had an idea, but now it just looks like a big gloopy, gloopy mess. Actually, I can tie it a little bit tighter with some more glue. What's wrong? Needs more glue. You need more cowbell? No, we need more glue. So I'm like unraveling it a little bit and then I'm just going to twist it some more with my hands. See what I can do here. Wally, it, look, it looks good. Okay, thank you, Wally. Because Does it look like a pumpkin stem? This is what I can't fix. I will fix with glue. <laughs> or I'll try to at least. I just realized I put the two tendrils on the back. What am I doing? See? I wanted this, that's the, this is the back because of this dang thing, and I put these down here like they're all shiny. Really cute idea I have never seen. Thank you, Paula. Okay. I like, I like the stem. We can, we can work with it. I just, I want it, I want it, I want it like this. I want. I want. Now, I got some, um, no, that's not it. I got some green wire that is no joke. Pretty thick. Let's try and see if I can make it obey me. Also, while this glue hasn't dried yet, let me see if I can. I probably should have did this before I glued it, but maybe I can feed it in here and force it to be my friend. Yeah, it's 
it's not working. Probably should have did this before. So yeah, if you do this before you add copious amounts of glue to your, oh wait, hold on, nope. All right, so if you do it before you add copious amounts of glue, it'll be easier, but we can still get this to work. I believe this is how people did like pippy long stocking things for Halloween, you know what I'm saying? The, the pigtails and stuff, and the costumes when I was in school. All right, you guys, here we go. Here's the idea. Here's the idea, we'll see. Did it work? Yes, it did. Okay. Who did that? Who helped me with that? A little piece of wire. Paula, Paula Hammett. Thank you, Paula. You saved my STEM happiness. I'm a happy, happy girl. Look at that. I got the curve in it. I want it. Yeah, it is a little bit too long, but for it being just something that's supposed to save the project, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy about it. Now, you guys, if I was recording this for a video, I probably would have done this like four or five times over and then come up with a better idea and then let you guys know what worked and what didn't. But Paula saved the day with the wire. I got my bend in it. And you know what this means? This means we are ready to decorate. Actually, this is not sticking. Okay, hold on. Because I didn't get the wire all the way down here. It almost looks like a fishing hook at this point. But I'll win. I just glued it in. I'll win. Domino. Just gotta hold it for a little bit. And Wally too, thank you Wally, yep. Too long maybe. Yeah, probably a little bit too long. I did cut some of that off, but yeah. For for trying to, to band-aid it, because I did it way out of order, but thank you guys. This is what's really awesome. What have I done wrong? How can I fix it? Now there's way too much glue on here, you guys, but at least if you guys attack this um, you know, on your own, You'll already know what not to do. And what not to do is load it up with glue before putting a wire in it. Super happy. Okay, so where is my Spanish moss? Again, as much as this stuff is messy, I don't understand why I still like it so much because it is so messy. But again, I, I like it. I don't know why. It's the I'm, I'm not usually into this kind of. Oh, please don't be a stick. Oh no! <laughs> Guess what I found? Oh no! Come on, Hobby Lobby. How, I can't talk smack about you. Look, I found an entire bush in here. There's a tumbleweed. There's a whole freaking tumbleweed in this one. <laughs> okay, never mind. All right, so if we just want to talk about prices and the amount you get, you still get sticks. Apparently, this one, they give you, like, half of the... <laughs> All right, ignore me. <laughs> there you go. Yep, yep, yep. I'm not immune. Hobby Lobby is not immune. Whatever their supplier is is not immune. Okay, now that covers up most of it. Look at that. That's too much, huh? See, my idea was to see the tendrils, and I figured I should have probably not glued them down yet. Let me see if I can pull that up and put it over it. Let it kind of hang out a little bit more. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. But now you can't really see the curl and the stem. Uh, we do need to cover this up because of the box that's showing. I don't, I didn't have, um, you could probably maybe put some other stuff in here, but I mean, the stem still curls a little bit. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this so much, is this kind of like a fail or is this a, I don't know, it's kind of cute. Because it grows in trees, girl. <laughs> I live in north of Cuddle Lake in Texas and it's everywhere down there. Pretty. Oh, you mean like while it's still... Like before it's dead, when it's alive, Spanish moss is like soft and squishy, isn't it? And then they, they, they grab it and then they dry it out. Is that how that works? Because that straight up looked like a tumbleweed. I live where there's tumbleweeds, so. I 
I don't know. Maybe I again I could probably redo this with the with the it's it's super messy now too. Like I, I I literally made a big old beautiful mess of this. You could put something on the front here too. You could put a monogram, you could put a happy fall sign, you could put some stuff on here and make this happy. But I probably would not unravel as much. I also would not, you know, glue first, put the wire in. That was a great idea, girls. I don't know. What do you guys think? I can probably still save it. Does it still look like a pumpkin? What do you think? And be be real. I'm okay with it. I can handle it. I just know when you're done with it, it'll be perfect. I don't I think I'm done with it. It doesn't it doesn't I'm I'm feeling I need to like literally start over with another piece of like with another piece of um with another piece of rope. This is just horrible. This is what I would do if I was recording, guys. So, no worries. And this glue on here is nothing you can't take off with the heat gun. So never let that stop you. Also, I'm nothing if not predictable when I show you guys my fails. There's nothing wrong with showing everybody your fails. So, in this instance... Oh, my blessed man. Ripped that band-aid off. Yep, I sure did. Yep, I sure did. We are going to scrape this off. And we are going to start over. I will do a separate Halloween live stream if you guys want. I know I promised this, this little box was going to be a little Halloween box. But after this, we're going to fix it. And we are going to do it right. And then... I'm going to go eat dinner because <laughs> I'm super hungry, but we're going to fix this right. So I'm going to take this piece of wire and I know that's more wire than what I actually need. And before I do anything here, I have the front facing. Yes. Yes, I do. Nope. That's the back. Here's the front. Also, there's nothing we can't. I don't know why I'm doing this because I'm going to need to get that off of there okay nothing we can't cover all right one more time so I'm gonna take my rope and I'm only gonna unravel it a little bit on the top part It's not too difficult, it's just... Getting it to stay where you want it to and stay inside the rope. Kind of untwisting it just a little bit, but not bad. You also could use a brown wire and just wrap it with the wire. This is a green wire because it's the thickest wire I have, so I'm leaving it. I'm gonna try to feed it in the middle. Hi, Elaine. Yeah, probably is in Nebraska. What time is it for me here? It's almost six, so it's well, pretty late for you guys. Yep, and my rope is unraveling up here. So we will just try to twist that back together. There's that there. Put that off there. Let that unravel down here. Put my glue right jaw. there. I'm going to put glue here. Now I'm just going to twist that while it hits. Yeah, this is going to go right this time. I could tell already. Everything's a learning experience, you put it that way. Especially when I had no plan. I had an idea, but no plan. <laughs> Isn't that how the best stuff it turns out? I had an idea, but no plan. Still hot. I 
All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down on either side. All right, we're going to place that on either side. And we're going to let that be. Let it kind of hang over left and right, top and bottom. Just kind of let it be its own little beard. And then now this I'm going to put right here in the center of that, just like that. And I'm already happier with this 100%, guys. Already happier. I put a big old glob of glue in there, and I'm going to leave these little tendrils or the little... The little stem parts I'm leaving them like that also because there's wire in the stem now you could actually put probably a small little piece of star from there if you needed to I bet I bet you I'm gonna let these stick up even which way they want to and then here's here's where we're gonna bend it oh my gosh look at that okay well <laughs> it's probably a little bit too long this time But that's not something we can't prop something up next to it. Yep. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, same as before, I'm going to get my trusty extra pieces. Look at that. The wire worked out better. The little tendrils are sticking off everywhere. I mean, I like that as is. The glue is going to need a lot more time to, to like cure because it's still kind of hanging everywhere. I think this one is probably still a little bit too long also. But what I'm going to do is add some pieces of stuff in here to it, to the sides. And just add all this stuff while the glue is still wet. I can see the wire sticking out at the bottom right here. So just kind of trying to tie it a little bit tighter. How are you guys doing? I think this thing stops at some point. Oh no, it's getting late here. Sorry guys. <laughs> Not 100% of what I was thinking, but I mean, I'm closer. I'm definitely closer. It's cute. Makes me happy. Makes me happy. I'm going to add this guy over here. Now, basically, I'm looking for props. I'm looking for something to prop the, the stem up against. But that could probably be a little bit shorter. Yeah, it's going to need some work. Spray that sucker with some, what is it? Steflo starch. Or thicker wire. I definitely probably, oh, stay, stay flow. Probably some thicker wire too. Oh, look, that worked a little bit better. That. probably some uh, thicker wire definitely higher or thicker gauge wire would probably be best i was just using what did i use uh, this is only 22 gauge so i mean there's definitely thicker wire you could pull thicker wire than that out of the stems on um, different bushes and things so put a little a little uh leaf on here and of course, you guys, if left alone and unattended, like most days, um, I could literally just keep adding to this and it would be so full of just almost everything, including this, the kitchen sink that you'd be amazed. Like, look at that twist. If I could get that twist to stay like that, look at that, that would be perfect. And you know what that is? That's just, I need thicker wire. That's all there is to it. I need thicker wire, which I don't own any. So I could have did it if I wanted to, but you guys, great idea. I mean, you get you get the gist of it. You get the gist of it. So work with this, you guys. It's, it's, it's learn learn from my bad planning and mistakes. 
I just said I'd be done with it, and then look, I'm adding pine cones. Super cute, super cute. <laughs> Wrap it with some silver wire. I do have silver wire. I just don't know. Would that be cute? I got white wire. I got white wire. And I do have silver wire, but I think it's so thin it won't make a difference. Yeah, this is a super high gauge wire. This is just florist wire. Um, this paddle wire is... This is 26 gauge, so it's even thinner. It's like really thin wire. This That one probably wouldn't work. And then this stuff just says wire. When you buy it from Michaels, they don't care to tell you what gauge it is. They're just like, yeah, no, you'll buy it. And they're like, yeah, yeah, I will. So, yeah, it probably just needs... Dollar Tree has wired rope. Yeah, you know what? I do too, you guys. I just didn't use it. <laughs> I have some wired twine. There's um, oh yeah. There's this stuff. This stuff would work really good. That's the kind of stuff. I bought this at Hobby Lobby years ago. Uh, it doesn't even say what it is. But this stuff has wire in it, so you can bend it like that. You can get this at, at Hobby Lobby also. It's just... There's a better attack at this, and I will get it. If I twist it. So, oh, look, I just twisted it more. Hold on. Twisted it more. I will make you love me. Look at that. See, so cute. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Okay. So you set it there, and you leave it, and you don't touch it. You only look at it. Look how perfect. What do you think? <laughs> Wrap it with some pit berries. It'd be cute. Yeah, I do. I got orange and green and white pit berries. I have pit berries too. Yep. All of the above. See? I just had to fuss with it some more. Now, will it stay this way? It feels like it will. I like the little wrap sticking out here, sticking out here. Give it a little haircut here and here. The rest of this is going to be clean up. So I'll clean it up and I'll sh I'll take pictures in my garage with my studio lights. And then, of course, I'll be changing the thumbnail. I got to clean up this glue back here on the back. And then I have a little bit of glue on the front. So I just got to re um, like melt it a little bit more with your hot glue, with your heat gun. And then use, um, use something to just pull that off of there. So nothing that can't be fixed. Nothing that can't be solved. So that's it, guys. What do you guys think? It's precious. Thank you for your live. Sorry, I was too chatty. You're, no, Paula, it is never, never apologize. You guys don't make me apologize for being too jibber jabbery. I love it. That's what we're here for. That's why I was part of it. Do you want the jibber jabber? I love the jibber jabber. Because without you, I don't have anyone to talk to. I need to talk to you guys. So please, jibber jabber on. Great. <laughs> Go eat dinner. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay. Now here is the nightmare. All of my DIYs, I told you I'd show you. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> and that's not even part of it. This is just everything I've done in my videos. I have literally just shoved in here. So there's this, there's my, uh, my uh, 4th of July stuff, stuff stuffed back here. Then my favorite little mason jar guy up here. You know what I mean? I've got everything kind of just really and then more pictures, more pictures. And way up there is my home sign. So, you know, you guys, I have a huge mess of stuff. But here is our, our end product. Little box pumpkins that turned out. This one gave me more of a headache than I thought it would. But I really like how it turned out, even though my stem is a little crazy. I think she's cute. Thank you guys so much. Love you guys. Love all of your punkies. Thank you, Renee. Punkies are life. Punkies are life. <laughs> Any piece of wire cord. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Renee. Thank you guys for spending this much time with me all one period. Many, many hugs. I got a really cool video coming out on Friday. You guys are going to love it. So stay tuned for that. And I'll just keep going as it is. So thanks, everybody. Love y'all. Hugs. Happy crafting. And take care. And message me if you guys want. We can jibber jabber through Instagram. Love you. <laughs> all three daughter. It all turned out great. Thanks, Whitney. Thank you. Love you too. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. Night-night.
Now, here's the awkward part where I have to figure out how to turn this off. Boop. Uh, yes, I do want to on my shorts. 